Hi guys, welcome to the first live game talk of the season. 4-1 against Heracles Yadrenko. That game, it was a little bit scary to a certain moment, but then we just went with it at the end, 4-1. Uh, your thoughts on the game? Uh, a, a, a lovely score, uh, obviously, uh, ahead of PSV. Uh, that uh, didn't play that well. Uh, I think uh, there was uh, uh, there were were some uh, quite some good uh, things to see, and uh, there were some things they need really uh, some work on. Um, the, the 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 good things are the, the 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 especially the urgency in the in the second half and 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 the tempo, uh, uh, which is uh, much better as as we saw last year. Uh, both on the Schroeder as on the uh, Heitinga. Uh, there's there's just more, more pace in the game, and uh, especially, I think, Van de Bomen and Tahirovic, but especially Van de Bomen, bring that pace uh, towards the game uh, and, and bring some additional depth to uh, the gameplay. Um, but I also saw some uh, uh, some sloppiness, but it's it's early. Uh, it's it's early in uh, in the season. We just started. We're not complete yet, so things needs uh, need some time to gel. Um, but I also saw uh, again the same uh, uh, usual suspects that we're on the bottom side let let let's put it let let's put it that way uh, uh Rens wasn't fantastic uh in my opinion uh in my opinion bergwijn was for 85 minutes not fantastic not great a bit of the same uh, and then he uh finally had a great action and a lovely goal uh and of course the penalty uh um uh i think Taylor wasn't wasn't really showing what what he should and and if he gets chances, uh, um, he yeah he, he misses them completely mostly. Uh, Saladin was for me uh, very unlucky, uh, uh, but I, I I liked his drive forward. Uh, I loved his drive forward actually, um, and I really 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 enjoyed Medic. I really enjoyed Hato. I really enjoyed Van der Bomen. Um, uh, yeah, so that's that's basically it. I think 4-1 is a good score, although in the end it seemed a little bit steep because it was quite a tough game uh, and it was quite not not really close in, in gameplay, but it was close in the score. Uh, and, and in the end you hoped they, uh, they, they would pull it uh, across the line and they did and then they went on. Uh, but if you see the chances in the in the first and second half, it's I think four one is maybe even on the mild side because there were some chances uh, uh, in my opinion. So that's basically my analysis. Yeah. Um, what about um, there are a lot of comments coming in. I will touch upon it in a minute. What about the the players? You mentioned a couple of players, but uh, what stood out for you tactically and also which players? Um, because now there's a discussion coming as well. Maybe you can uh, give your opinion about this, about Kudus, right? Um, he was um, he was basically also having a uh, important part in the score in the second half as well. But also in the first half, he he was driving, he was playing like we like we know he can. He doesn't always show it, but most of the time last season he showed it, and he showed it today as well. Uh, what do you think of like special mentions of the players? You mentioned the players at the back. What about the players up front? And also uh, like Kudus and maybe Bergwijn as well, because just about Bergwijn quickly, I think <laughs> I think here we go. Uh, John W is saying um, best move by Bergwijn in a year. Defense much better. Still looking for left back. Um, and also Danny Coverell is saying um, Salahdin is terrible. Big problem on that position. So people are looking at that basically. And also uh, Coverell is saying um, specifically to you. Did you did you watch uh, our new captain Yadarenko? Two goals already. I said it before. At least fifteen goals at the end of the season. So yeah, well, but, but go ahead. I I said it. I said it uh, before we started. Actually, all those fans are coming with two goals. He see, oh, he's the the captain of the year. Come on, he was terrible. He was absent and he wasn't terrible as in his gameplay. But he was not leading. 
the 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 person that was leading and was pointing uh, 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 within the team was Van der Bouwman to me, not Bergwijn. Uh, um, and Bergwijn finally did something uh, what he doesn't normally do. Uh, and again, you see immediately a big chance and a goal, uh, and that he takes the penalty. Yeah, that's that logical and uh, that 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 should go in, but uh, you can miss it, obviously. Um, Kudus, I think uh, I expect more from Kudus in the first half. In the second half, he was just lovely again. Uh, his his old self claiming the ball, going towards the ball, demanding the ball. Um, Broby did some good things, but also missed missed chances, which you shouldn't miss as a striker. Um, especially if you look uh, uh, the the past of Broby. Broby in the youth was always a player uh, that 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 wasn't really in the gameplay, and then he scored a goal. Uh, and this is it's not the opposite because he wasn't really in the gameplay and wasn't really that well. But I saw some good things. Um, but again, in the finishing, it, it, it wasn't good, um, uh, to me, uh, yeah. personally. Um, yeah, again, absolutely. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Saladin, I don't think he was, he was that terrible. Yes, he had a terrible pass. Uh, he was very unlucky with, uh, with, uh, the goal, uh, against. Um, don't, you, don't you think, don't you think he showed defensively at least? But uh, so I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting the pass because he's driving forward and he's doing all that. But defensively, don't you think he's a liability? Uh, defensively, he's not not the best, but he definitely shows depth uh, uh, in the attack. And that's it. It really depends on how you want to play. If you want to play uh, the waiting game, then Saladin wouldn't be the best choice. If you want to pressure and if you want to go, go, go then I would choose uh, Salah Eddin any day of the week over Weindal because he's going, going, going. And yes, there is a liability uh, in the defense, but if you have Hato in the back and if you have, uh, uh, like today, Medic in the back, that shouldn't be a real big problem. You just have to communicate with the team and maybe with Tahirovic that those gaps need to be filled. Um, but but I don't think it's it's that terrible. I. I I even like him over Wrench on the on the on the right side because Wrench defensively uh, uh, again showed he's always a liability, and offensively he showed nothing uh, to me, uh, or, or pretty okay. darn uh, yeah. uh, little. A lot of people are saying also that uh, you know like they're they're drawing conclusions. We know this is not the end. This is not like a final eleven. Uh, we're still gonna get some players in. Uh, let me touch upon two things. So. Um, for instance, I'm hearing now, I'm reading that give Salah Din time, but we know that, and we talked about it a few days ago, they're looking at a, uh, like Stein said before the game, a multifunctional center defender as well. They can play both sides. Maybe Hato will go on the left. Um, I don't know what will that mean for Salah Din or Randall, but what do you feel about that? And then we'll touch upon Robbie quickly. If if you have a better uh, better player as Salah Din, then that's fine. That's no, no problem uh, with me. Uh, um, to be to be quite honest, I wouldn't let Hato go to the left again uh, because I actually love him in the center, uh, and uh, uh, I I think he's one of the biggest uh, potentials within Ajax at the moment, uh, especially for the farther farther future. Um, yeah, so I'm, I I don't have a problem uh, with uh, replacing Saladin, but I don't have a problem with. Salahidin staying. I think the bigger problem is on the right, to be honest, okay. and in and in the striker position. In 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 my point of view. Yeah. So about the striker position, right? Look, we've seen this throughout the preseason, uh, and I'm not pinpointing Broby because um, my opinion is that everybody basically in that team today, um, yeah. maybe Taylor was a little bit different than the rest, but I think everybody gave them all. Like the energy was there. They yeah. were running up and down. Uh, dynamic football, like Stein talked about yesterday in the interview, uh, in the pre uh, press conference. I saw that today. Not mm -hmm. everything went well. That's clear. It's the first game. But if we look at the preseason, and Broby is not very, like, I think the only goal he scored was a penalty in the preseason. And now we're seeing, like, him missing 
pretty clear-cut chances. Uh, he was not the only one, but he's a striker. So I'm, I'm pinpointing him because he's a striker, so he should be more clinical. So uh, we know we're going to get a striker. What would you do um, if you were Sven? Would you get somebody that is on the same level or as a uh, backup to Broby, or would you get like a first striker and let him compete like fully with Broby? Yeah, I, I would go for a first striker uh, because you don't have, you actually don't really have a striker uh, at the moment because he's not striking. Okay, all right, clear. Um, just let me go. Um, just let me go quickly on the uh, on the comments. Um, uh, Ruli, maybe we can touch upon that. Uh, we don't have any news yet. Uh, he was taken off by a stretcher, or with a stretcher. It didn't look well. Um, there are questions also um, in, on ESPN. The pundits were asking, like, why did we put Horter in and not the goalkeeper we got from Eintracht Frankfurt for uh, for a few million? Euros. So what do you think uh, that is? I mean, apart, we don't know if he's injured or not, but did you understand that decision? The, the, the only the only thing you can imagine that uh, would be reasonable is that he hasn't been that long with the team. Uh, 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 but yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I would have put Ramay uh, in. Uh, instead of Gorte, but but Gorte did okay. Uh, he didn't make any mistakes, uh, so so that's good. Um, and obviously, I hope that Ruli is okay uh, uh, because it didn't didn't look that well. Indeed, it looked yeah. like something torn or uh, broken. Uh, let Let's hope he's okay, and uh, he's soon. Yeah. Back. So, so this month, we know that this month is uh, is quite important in the sense that not only league-wise, but also getting a transfer in before the end of the month. But not only that, we have the Europa League um, qualifying rounds coming as well soon. Are you confident from what you saw today that this is a good foundation to move forward? It really depends what uh, what, what, what happens. If you get a striker in, uh, if Sutalo comes, uh, I, don't, I don't think you have that big of a problem in, in, in the back since Medic really showed defensively that he can uh, he, he can hold his own uh, uh, and he also uh, helped with the build-up quite a lot which which surprised me for for such a long uh, and bulky uh, uh, footballer uh, and his and his goal was, was amazing it was really what a goal um, yeah. Yeah, but it it really depends what 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 the choices will be. If you keep Ranch, if you keep uh, uh, Brobby in the base, uh, if you keep uh, exchanging uh, Taylor and bringing Ta Klaassen in, yeah, I I, I don't know. Uh, the, the the opponents that we can draw are not that not that impressive. So you should win, but like like Heracles, it 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 wasn't uh, that uh, piece of cake today. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, quickly, uh, just before we end the stream, and I'm seeing everybody also uh, uh, putting their, their comments. I want to allude to something. I want them. Uh, we didn't really touch upon it, but I want to talk about it because, um, look, uh, there are pundits we know, um, and also there are journalists um, questioning Mislin Tot, getting players from everywhere, um, not being Dutch. Also, was was asked yesterday about uh, Stein whether he prefers Dutch players, and then. Stein said quality above nationality for him. So if they're equal, of course, a Dutch player, but otherwise uh, a player from abroad is fine. Uh, they're saying, a lot of pundits are saying, like, uh, first of all, we heard about uh, Medic from the second Bundesliga. How good is he if he's from the second Bundesliga? And second of all, also what we heard was uh, this team is getting too much players from outside. So it's becoming like um, a non-Dutch team. Um, what do you have to say to that? If you look at the performance today, like just looking at today, if the players that we got, if if we see more and more of what we saw in the in the, in the second half, and we see that urgency uh, in the gameplay, I don't care. I, I don't care that uh, uh, Sven is German. I don't care that uh, they're uh, uh, buying players from the second Bundesliga. I really don't care. If it works, it works. And yeah. uh, I I actually liked it a lot more. Uh, as as we saw uh, last season, because last season was a, a, a bit of searching for something without a goal, uh, and and this had clearly had a goal. 
uh, and uh, yeah, I, I love the urgency uh, in the gameplay, so I don't uh, really care what uh, what they say. Uh, uh, to be honest, right. and, and and they don't have the knowledge if you really yeah. look into what they say. Yeah, look, um, we know that Berghuis is um, is suspended for three uh, three games uh, now, two more. He's yeah. he's a potential number ten as well, and uh, Taylor is a potential number ten. He played ten today. Classic came in as a number ten. Uh, we saw yesterday, I know he's still young, but Misui could have a breakout season. We don't know. Uh, we have to be careful saying that, but uh, he's also a number 10. Where do you stand in terms of like um, class? Um, he, he's important as a leader. That's what Stan is saying, and we believe him as well. He's a, a real I exceed, as everybody says. But if he's going to be behind maybe Taylor, maybe Berghuis in the pecking order, um, do you think... Do you think we should keep him? I mean, of course, they will let him decide. But what do you think? Uh, let him go. Uh, I, I said this earlier. Uh, if uh, if you keep class, and the same will happen as uh, what happened with Blint, uh, because he's not, he's not a base player. He came in and brought brought really really little to the game. Uh, didn't show that much. Uh, I I would try uh, Kurus in the center. And I would try Borg, uh, Forbes on the right uh, for now, for the coming uh, games, because Forbes only played two minutes. And even in two minutes, I think, or seven, uh, he, he, he made some impression, at least on, on me. So uh, I would like to see more of that. And, and, and Kudus is basically a midfielder. So it's strange that he keeps uh, Kudus on the right. Uh, and especially when you see him uh, doing his thing, then then I would love to see him doing his thing on the midfield. Yeah. All right. Um, so you, we touched upon everything, I think. Look, um, moving forward, next week we have the other game. I, I think we're playing Excelsior then. So um, we have the three points. We know the PSV also won today. Uh, we'll see what Fanor does tomorrow. But looking at the first signs today, are you optimistic going forward? Sure, this is uh, this is a this is a great win. Four one is a good score. Good score. Uh, there were enough uh, enough uh, positives, I think. Um, um, and and let's hope that the TS can make some good choices uh, uh, towards technical the staff. Yeah, technical staff. You mean? Yeah, yeah. All right, and uh, just final question. Also, people can uh, react to that. Who was the man of the match for you? Uh, twofold. twofold. Uh, um, I think the most impact in the entire game uh, had Branko van der Boom. Uh, but, but I love that uh, the audience chose Medic because his goal was a banger. Unbelievable. And he, and he played a solid game uh, for the rest. So uh, either one. All right, perfect. Um, just a quick uh, notification or information also uh, for our viewers. Uh, we had an interview with a City fan um, about uh, for, uh, sorry, I have to say Forbes. So Carlos Borges, Forbes. Um, we will see like early next week, we will upload it. It was an interesting talk. Um, so let's see if you guys like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We will keep doing the live talks after a game and uh, we keep bringing you content and um, enjoy the win, guys. Enjoy the win. We really needed that. See you.